Hey, what's up people? Frank here with a new video and today I want to talk a little bit about how to structure your progress in magic and uh, your personal spiritual ascent. See, what most people encounter when they start out with magic and the occult, when they start studying this, is this overwhelming amount of information. Um, and that causes a lot of confusion and um, people kind of get um, paralyzed by, uh, by learning, okay? They study all kinds of different stuff intellectually, but they don't get to practice. And at the end of the day, they don't build up practical skills that are necessary to actually progress. That not only applies to other people, but I experienced that myself many years back when I was starting to learn this stuff. Even though the occult and magic are have a lot of parts that are quite irrational and are um, you know hard to pinpoint and to break down into concrete things, it is still possible to apply a structure to all of this that will then uh, you know make you progress much faster. The first thing that should be done in regards to that is. Understanding the difference between goals, the purpose, and targets. A goal in this case would be like the overall direction of where you want to go. And uh, it helps you to not lose sight of what you actually want to do with this. A purpose is the actual reason why you are learning all of this. Why are you putting in so much work in learning, into learning uh, sorcery and magic? What is the, yeah, what is the greater goal, you know? An example of that would be knowing that you have been incarnated or incarnated into this, uh, life and body for a reason and magic is a way for you to um, explore the subtle dimensions but at the same time use the physical realm as kind of like a feedback mechanism where you use magic and sorcery to apply the occult knowledge that you that you attained and uh, strengthen your spirit through this lifetime it's also very important to have a purpose because if you don't have that Trust me, you will not, over a long period of time, pursue that, okay? There are too many distractions. There are too many things that can get you, of course. And if you don't rather clearly understand your own purpose with this, it's almost guaranteed that you will not achieve what you wanted to achieve. Targets are small goals that have a deadline, that have a date, and um, have, you know, include small action steps that you can take right now that, you know, allow you to progress in the direction that you want to go to. A target could be to start learning how to change your state of consciousness at will to be able to do rituals to make them work as well as to be able to communicate with spiritual forces which is the prerequisite for everything that you're going to do in the occult or it could be to start working through one specific grimoire right now and to do it thoroughly and to do it in depth because once you've done that you can take what you learned through that path working and um, apply that to any other system. It could also be to set your day up in a way where you have meditation once or twice a day for 30 minutes as a fixed and uh, certain part of your daily routine. What I want you to take away from this video is to understand that in magic, just like in every other field, you can actually, through planning and through understanding and concrete action steps, increase the speed of your progress. And you won't get overwhelmed by 
a million different systems, a million different God forms, spirits, and whatnot. And as you focus on a specific system and um, study it in depth, you will automatically learn all of the things that you, uh, you know, that, that brought you to, uh, to wanting to do magic in the first place, probably, right? Like success rituals or uh, money magic and stuff like that, okay? Have a structure in your practice and um, know where you're headed, okay? That's a mistake that I see many people do in sorcery. And at the end of the day, it really doesn't get them anywhere, okay? And often, it remains a pipe dream. I already mentioned that meditation is the prerequisite and daily meditation is the prerequisite to everything that you are going to do in the occult, period. I have a meditation program. I teach meditation. This program is called The Unbounded Mind. And if you click the link below this video, you will be taken to a Facebook group where you can request access, I will add you to the group and take it from there. I teach comprehensive meditation, meaning many different traditions, you know, Zen Buddhism, Vedic meditation, and many other things, mantras how, that, that teach you how to uh, manifest things more quickly or manifest them in the first place. And um, there are four lectures every month, one lecture a week, with uh, guided meditations, group meditations, Q and A's, recordings, and a lecture, of course. And uh, very underpriced, fifty dollars a month. The value—you can't put a price on that. Okay. So if you're interested in uh, learning meditation, not just for sorcery, but you know. It will have benefits throughout your entire life. Click the link below and you'll be taken to that group. Okay. I also um, teach sorcery and magic. Okay. And if you want to attain one of the highest levels of occult information and education that is out there, click the other link below this video. It will take you to a group called Red of the Serpent in a Circle. You can request access. I will add you and we'll take it from there. Okay. I hope you got something out of this video. And once again, this is a crucial, crucial point. And I see many, many people struggle with that. And it's not necessary. You just have to know what you're doing. And you have to understand how to structure that. And uh, you will pro uh, progress much faster and be actually able to fulfill your magical potential. Okay. Now... Frank White, Aurelius Sopax, signing out. And uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.